the African Football League. Now, for those who are unfamiliar, the African Football League is basically the rebranded African Super League. It was, a it was an idea brought in by CAF president uh, Gianni Infantino where certain teams uh, or where a league would be created of the best teams on the continent and uh, we'd watch them all play each other in order to try to get more money into the, or in, into the organization, uh, into the association, um, CAF, um, in order to bring more excitement to the game. So if you're only watching Mamadou Sundowns versus Al Ali once every three years, uh, those two games, what if you could see Mamadou Sundowns versus Al Ali every single year, but not only see that, see them in a league where Al Ali, Mamadou Sundowns, we did, Tipi Mazembe, Petro de Luanda, um, Simba, Yanga, possibly Chiefs, Pirates, possibly other uh, uh, big teams, Bobo, Beluizda, uh, Dibo, St. Eloali, Popo, those type of teams all coming together and playing in one league. It was in response to the European Super League, which failed, where um, teams like Arsenal, Manchester United, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Juventus, and all those guys were threatening to start their own league outside of FIFA, uh, um, outside of FIFA structures, uh, take it to a place like Saudi Arabia and have all of the best teams in the world play together and generate more money for the clubs. The idea was that the big clubs are the ones bringing in money in Europe. So it's unfair for me to share TV deal, my TV deal money with the rest of the league if I'm the one bringing in the money. So give me a chance to go and create a league elsewhere, which is very important because that was the, that was the thinking behind the European Super League. Sorry to interrupt this video, but I need a little bit of your help. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can probably see my subscribe account. And if you can, I'd be very grateful if you would subscribe. That is actually the best way to support this channel because the bigger that number is, the better it looks to potential guests and other brands and companies that I will approach for sponsorship. It may seem like a very small thing to ask for, but it actually helps with all of this. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. That was why they wanted to do it. It wasn't uh, to up uplift football and all of that. It was teams wanting to bring more money into their own coffers because they felt as though they could generate more money on their own uh, rather than being stuck in these leagues where you have to share. So the idea was brought to Africa and it was pitched as the Super League, then rebranded to the African Football League. And we had our first iteration last year. Last year, eight teams took part in the tournament, which was won by Mamoru Sundowns um, at the end, becoming the inaugural winners of the AFL. Plenty of questions existed around the AFL's validity and, and whether it could work. Um, there were already issues with timing. So if you remember, the PSL last year said, uh, well, had a long thing with the a with CAF to say, guys, this AFL. If you guys want to do this over a month mid-season, you are moving so many of our fixtures, and now we have to figure out where to put everybody else in order to make way for Mamelodi Sundowns not being there for a month. So it became a date nightmare like a, an actual game day nightmare because now Skukune might have booked for a game that's happening on the 26th of March, but now you can't do it. And because of short notice, you have to plug more money into then gaining, uh, getting, the, the, getting your, your costs for the next game. So your travel costs, your accommodation, all of that stuff would now be an extra cost on the teams. And the idea was that this year, the AFL was going to be expanded to 24 teams. So it's going to be 24 of the highest ranked teams in Africa who are, going to who are going to take part in this tournament, which meant more time. Now, currently in world football, something that is happening is that um, a lot of the big players, uh, most recently it was Rodri who spoke out, are complaining that they're playing too many games. That playing in the league and then having to play in your cups and then having to play uh, in, in the Champions League then having to go play a, a, a thing like the, the AFL, then having to go play the Club World Cup games. Now it's expanded, 32 teams in the Club World Cup. It's too much games, it's too many games for these players. If you think about Mamadi Sundowns, there's 30 games in the league. Then you add MTN 8. Then you add a, a Netbank Cup, Carling Knockout. Then you add a, a, a CAF Champions League. Then they're still going to the, to the World Cup next year. It, it wasn't going to work on a few, a few levels. 
But they tried it out. It did. It worked well last season. They they got some hype. They had all of that. But according to a CAF insider, um, the tournament has been cancelled for this year, and they're going to try regroup for next year. Um, apparently, they were facing a nightmare of finding the dates and organizing everything and putting it together in this time. And I feel that you know that that fight around the world that's happening with the number of games that the players are playing. I think it had a very big say uh, um, in what was happening here. But what I want to speak about is more on the side of um, the, uh, the idea of the tournament. And maybe the question should be, do we need new tournaments in Africa or do we need more opportunities for other teams to take part? So... I believe that the AFL was actually, and, and this is all alleged, uh, I don't have inside info on this, but I believe that this was a trial by FIFA to see if they could entice those teams uh, that were wanting to leave their leagues and go form the Super League into uh, playing in FIFA Super League instead of their own Super League. And I think the reason why the AFL fell out of being something that is viable has very little to do with the dates, but more to do with the fact that Europe went and made their own way around all of these things. So Europe expanded the, the, the UEFA Champions League. So right now we're watching a Champions League that has changed into a big group format. We're watching a, a Champions League that has more teams with more games. And I think the moment those changes were made, once they tweaked that, it made the AFL, um, it made the LF AFL irrelevant. It made that experiment of the AFL irrelevant uh, that we're running this thing in Africa, but we've already solved the Champions League. You look at the Club World Cup. The Club World Cup is also expanded. They're bringing in more teams. They're giving those teams another chance to make money, another chance to get exposure, another chance to get a TV deal, another chance to do all of the things that they were wanting to do with their own Super League. And Africa is the safest way or the safest place to pilot these things, to try them out. So I think that is why um, the AFL is out. But again, um, my issue with it is, and, and my issue with the AFL from the beginning, was very simple. If you look at the last 16, or well, last eight teams uh, in the CAF Champions League, you appointed the same guys, ES Tunis, Al Ali, uh, Mamelodi Sundowns, We Dead Casablanca, TP Mazembe, um, the Pet Atletico Petre, uh, King, Atletico de Luanda, Petro de Luanda, Atleticos Patrolios. Um, you look at certain teams that consistently make it to the last eight. If you look at the guys that get into the Champions League, find the 16 teams, but it's usually pretty much the same teams. Why give those teams another opportunity to have another trophy when you could maybe open it up? Guys, our Champions League is 16 teams. Our CAF Confed is 16 teams. That's 32 teams, all in all. The Champions League in Europe is 40 teams now. Europa is 40 teams. That's 80 teams that are taking part. 80 teams plus a conference league. Plus a conference league. And do you know what that allows? That allows even the smaller teams to go out and make their money. Whereas here we have only 32 teams that can possibly make money. And we've got a confed Cup, for example, that hasn't been given any shine, any marketing, any push. So shouldn't they be looking to bring in more teams to get a seat at the table or expand that Champions League then? Make that the expansion. Expand your confit. Make that the expansion so that teams like Abo Joaneng, Abo Disciples, Abo Nwadibu, Abo, those type of teams can also play in a tournament uh, that can be lucrative for them too. Attracting money to the top end and rewarding the teams that already have money doesn't make sense for me in the African context. So for example, think about... Um, 
uh, Mamelodi Sundowns. Mamelodi Sundowns, we all know that funding comes from the Mozipa Foundation. We all know that, that the Mozipa has spent over a billion rand in terms of that club since he's taken over. You look at your Al Ali's, who, if you think Sundowns is spending, Al Ali is spending five times what Sundowns is spending, ten times what Sundowns is spending. If you look at your wee dads, if you look at those country, those, those teams that make it towards the end, they're usually from up, up north and they have a lot of money. Why then give them a chance to win 72 uh, million, I believe 72 million rand in the CAF, uh, CAF Champions League, then another 72 in the AFL, then, oh, by the way, you're going to, by virtue of being one of the teams that finished one, two, and three or whatever, you're going to also go to the CAF, uh, to the, to, the Club World Cup, where it's a billion rand just for participating. Then we wonder why those other teams who are complaining about travel, who are complaining about, uh, um, you know, uh, taking part in these things, who are complaining about the, their players being tired, who are complaining. Guys, they're teams that drive for 24 hours to go play some of these games. 24 hours in a van. The, it was a team from um, the Ivory Coast, if I'm not mistaken. In a van. All the players who are driving now, 24 hours. Some teams have to sleep at those places. Some teams uh, uh, struggle. Shouldn't you be giving those teams a chance to get a bite of the cherry? A better bite of the cherry. Luckily now, uh, to Kev's benefit, they did start giving teams money for participating in the, um, the, the prelims. But we still have a long way to go, and maybe that's the answer, instead of just focusing on the top. It's also why um, it failed in Europe. So the reason why it failed in a lot of the countries in Europe is that the rest of the teams in the league said, Mara, you guys are here because of us. Now, if you guys go out and start your own league and make your own money, what are you doing to the watchability of our league? What are you doing to the money that's coming into our league? How are we going to stand to benefit from these things? I mean, CAF had said they're going to give, what, um, two million dollars, uh, one, one million dollars to each federation. That's 20 million rand. Now imagine Safa getting 20 million rand and having to uh, apportion that to uh, SAB, to Mozipa Foundation, to the national teams and all of that stuff. It turns out that it's, it's a small amount of money uh, for the amount of money that is being attracted. So I think CAF is going to have to look into those type of things and really try to find answers in that regard rather than, you know, um, going out and creating star-studded competitions that are going to put everybody into trouble. Now every league has to figure out how we're going to change our dates, how we're going to accommodate these clubs, how we're going to make sure that our leagues are not going to be running for a month or X amount of teams are going to be leaving our leagues to go play in this thing. And then when the calendar comes to an end or when the league comes to an end, you have to play uh, five, six, seven, eight games in hand because these teams are not there. So um, I'm sad because the AFL could have been something greater. Um, I'm sad because maybe CAF was going to just default to what it has already. One of the discussions was that the CAF Confed was going to go away and uh, the AFL would replace the CAF Confed Cup. Um, but even with that, it would still be the same format. Um, and you would allow even lesser teams, less teams to take part. So.